Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief, brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm your host, Jolene Marks, and we're very proud to bring you news directly from Israel. Before we get into the headlines of the day, we just want to let you know that we are standing in solidarity with you wherever you are around the world as we battle the spread of COVID-19 together. We are all in this together and if you want to reach out to us, you are very welcome to via our website or our Facebook page and uh, we're there to have a chat with you and uh, to get each other through this time of great uncertainty. But without further ado, let's take a look at today's headlines. As has become unfortunately our custom every day, we get an update of the situation in Israel as far as the coronavirus is concerned. So our latest numbers of uh, confirmed cases as of this morning are 427 in the state of Israel, including 11 who have fully recovered and have been released and five who are in serious condition. In the West Bank, there are 44 cases of COVID-19 and Gaza still remains an anomaly in the world with zero cases and the cooperation between Israel and the Palestinian Authority is continuing. Last night Prime Minister Netanyahu took to the airwaves to give an update on the use of technology as well as the increase in testing which is why we have an increase in the numbers today. He also took time to scold Israelis who he had said had disobeyed the laws of uh, social distancing by going to the beaches, going to the parks. He said he cannot believe what he is seeing and it's for our own good that we stay indoors so that we can get a handle on this. Yesterday, Israel's health ministry said that the next week is critical. This upcoming week will really determine where we are as far as getting ahead or flattening the curve. Yesterday, it was announced by Magin David Adon that they will start rolling out drive-through testing areas in certain cities. This will also help increase the amount of testing done on COVID-19 and just a huge, huge uh, gratitude to Magin David Adom who are working really, really at uh, extreme, extreme measures to make sure that we are tested, that we are healthy, that we are taken care of. And that goes for all of the medical fraternity as well. They really, really are on uh, the front line and we cannot express enough gratitude for all the work that they are doing. Earlier today, the Minister of Public Safety, Gilad Erdan, said that uh, it looks very likely that Israel will be going into full lockdown, which means that Israelis would only be allowed to leave their homes to go to the supermarket or to the pharmacy, and that's it. He has briefed the uh, police and security establishment, and also Israel has started arresting those that are breaking the quarantine. The first arrest was carried out earlier today and the police are investigating others, including an ultra-religious sect that went against the uh, quarantine laws and celebrated uh, en masse a wedding last night. It's an extreme disrespect, not just to them, but also to the community at large. But uh, Israelis, considering the restrictions, are finding ways to be creative, finding ways to be busy, to keep working, and uh, also finding ways to keep our spirits up. And uh, I'm sure we join many of you around the world in looking at ways that uh, this new, hopefully temporary normal, will be easier to bear. On the background of all of this, Israel is still trying to put together a government and uh, earlier today, the Speaker of the Knesset, Yuli Edelstein, dissolved the Knesset and this has allowed the Blue and White and the Likud to kind of go behind doors to try and cobble out some kind of unity government. government. Now, there's still a lot to discuss who will join and what will happen, but one thing is for sure that Benny Gantz, the leader of the Blue and White, is tasked with forming a government and Benjamin Netanyahu, the current Prime Minister and Chairman, of the Likud party are united in and that is the massive fight we have against COVID-19 and Israel has declared war against COVID-19 and they were endorsed by our president Ruben Rivlin who said look what can be accomplished when we all unite and in our final story 
as uh, cases escalate around the world, so does anti-Semitism. Yesterday we spoke about how Natan Sharansky has said that this is nothing new, Jews being blamed for the spread of disease, and now we have some of the most fervent Islamists that not include all Muslims, but the uh, very, very uh, fundamentalist militant branch who have blamed Zionists and America. And uh, uh, you can't make this stuff up, but uh, even ISIS has issued a directive to its fighters to say, don't go into Europe. But uh, we know that uh, the world has had enough of this hateful, divisive uh, invective, and we're going to all fight the virus of anti-Semitism together. Now, if you're looking for something to do while you are in uh, self-isolation or social distancing, check out our website at www.layoftheland.online. You can read Justine Friedman's stunning article on um, what we can be grateful for during this pandemic. You can also check it out on our Facebook page. And while you're there, give us a like, give us a follow, or just simply shoot us a message. And uh, don't forget that you play a vital role in getting Israel's news out to the world. You can do this by helping to share our YouTube page or by subscribing and simply click on the subscribe button at The Israel Brief. I'm Rony Marks wishing you all good health. This is The Israel Brief. We'll chat again tomorrow.